the Binghamton Black Bears defeated the Elmira Mammoth for the 10th time this season tonight by the score of 5-4. Donald Oliveri scored two goals for the Black Bears tonight, marking his 11th and 12th goals in the 15 games he's played. Austin Thompson scored for the Black Bears in the first period to start the scoring off, while Donald Oliveri scored the next two, before Gavin Yates and Connor Smith rounded out the scoring for the Black Bears. Former Black Bear and Binghamton native Gino D'Angelo scored the Mammoth's fourth goal and final goal of the night, notching the game up at four goals apiece before Connor Smith's game-winning tally. Taylor Joseph started in the net for the Black Bears, winning his sixth game in a row, saving 32 of 36 shots. The Black Bears now head to the Commissioner's Cup playoffs facing off against the Watertown Wolves Friday night in Watertown. Here are my thoughts on the 5-4 victory for the Black Bears over the Mammoth. Donald Oliveri continues to shine for the Black Bears, scoring two more goals in tonight's game and now has 12 goals in 15 games played. Oliveri has also played enough games now, 15, to qualify for the playoffs. No matter how hard he tried, including a slap shot to the face of the Mammoth netminder, Tyson Kirkby did not extend his six-game goal streak. And now the word is, he lost an end-of-the-season bet with Tyler Jurich on goal scored. Connor Smith's beautiful game-winning goal in the third period was his fifth of the season in the six games he's played for the Black Bears. Austin Thompson goal tonight was his 29th of the season and with his 27 helpers ended the regular season with 56 points in 49 games and will be an important part of the playoffs for the Black Bears. Without a doubt, the best line in the game and maybe the best line in the FPHL right now consists of Tyson Kirkby, Tyler Jurich, and Gavin Yates, especially when Donald Oliveri is one of the D-men on the ice with those three. Tonight, those four men combined for three goals, four assists for seven points. Taylor Joseph has cemented his place as the team's number one goaltender with his seventh straight start and sixth straight win, his 11th on the season. Black Bears were 10-1 over the Mammoth this season, the second team they won double-digit games against in this season. They were a perfect 10-0 against the Delaware Thunder. The Black Bears now prepare for the first round of the Commissioner Cup's playoffs. The first round opponent is the Watertown Wolves, who the Black Bears beat seven out of eight times this season. First game is Friday night in Watertown with a 7.30 p.m. face-off. This has been a game and stats recap from the Power Play Post Show. I'm Bob Howard. Have a great night. The playoffs are next.